for all you youngins, here's five things I wish I knew 10 years ago about aging. Eating too much protein can lead to kidney disease or kidney stones, and bad kidneys really hurts your body and makes you age faster. What's the evidence that protein intake damages the kidneys? It was hypothesized that protein might damage the kidneys because dietary protein increases serum creatinine, because creatinine is a breakdown of protein catabolism. The kidneys are responsible for clearing out creatinine, and an increase in serum creatinine indicates decreased kidney functioning. So rather than serum creatinine itself damaging the kidneys, a damaged kidney leads to increased serum creatinine. We also see that amino acids, when broken down, increase the production of nitrogen and urea, increasing our levels of blood urea nitrogen. This is a secondary marker of kidney damage because the kidneys are responsible for clearing out blood urea nitrogen. Therefore, damaged kidneys leads to an increase in blood urea nitrogen. However, in both of these scenarios, it is not due to a decrease in kidney function, rather due to an increase in creatinine and BUN production. It was recently concluded that serum cystatin C is a much more important indicator of kidney function because it is not dictated by protein intake. And studies indicate that both high and low protein intake do not alter serum cystatin C meaning that if we use a more sensitive indicator, dietary protein intake does not impact kidney function. And in the grand scheme of things, meta-analyses on the topic indicate there is no significant evidence for a detrimental effect of high protein intakes on kidney function in healthy individuals. With that being said, protein restriction may be appropriate for the treatment of pre-existing kidney disease. This is because things like creatinine and BUN can increase intraglomerular pressure which can worsen kidney disease in patients with pre-existing kidney issues because their kidneys are unable to increase their functionality despite this increase in pressure. Therefore, this pressure simply leads to an increase in kidney damage. It is recommended to decrease protein intake in those with advanced stages of chronic kidney disease. But using more sensitive markers, we don't currently have evidence for a detrimental effect of high protein intake on the functionality of one's kidneys. And while most people don't want to hear this, one thing we can say is it does appear like plant protein is more protective to kidney function than animal protein, likely not due to the protein component, but due to the different secondary molecules contained inside of animal and plant protein. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.